Well, tonight the city of Buffalo has a new budget. Common Council members passed it the same day it was due, cutting $6.5 million from the mayor's proposal. The two likely biggest concerns for city residents, a 3.8% property tax jump and a garbage user fee increase. The garbage fee will cost between $7 and $22 a year and the property tax around $46 a year for every $100,000 your home is worth, according to the mayor's office. Well, Mayor Byron Brown also says that he's pleased that the budget was passed and it was designed to, quote, strengthen the city of Buffalo for all residents. But there's also another piece to the amended budget puzzle that is getting an awful lot of attention tonight. City lawmakers cutting overtime budgets for the police and the fire department. Tony Size Nate Benson is breaking that all down for us tonight. Nate, what's the latest? Yes, Scott and Mary Alice, as you said, the council voted and approved Mayor Brown's $577 million budget, and they're hoping to rein in overtime costs. As common council meetings go... To now vote upon the mayor's 2023-2024 budget. It was a short one. Just two minutes and ten seconds for the council to reconvene a meeting from last week, vote on the new budget, which included new amendments for overtime, and then... Motion to adjourn. Second by council member Nowakowski. Those amendments aim to reduce overtime collectively in the Buffalo Police and Fire Departments by a total of $3.5 million. So there has been concern about overtime for a while. So far in fiscal year 2023, which started on July 1st, 2022, and ends this June 30th, the fire and police departments accrued $24,399,000 in overtime pay. While there may be some sticker shock with that number, remember there were several all-hands-on-deck situations earlier in the year. Another amendment made in the city budget deal, the mayor's office will now report overtime data to the council every two months. But at least that way we have information up front and are able to adjust um, together um, with, with police, with fire, with council and with administration and not get this kind of sticker shock uh, that we always get at the end of the year. Mind you, all of the overtime data for every department is updated in real time on the city's open data website. Police union president John Evans doesn't see where the overtime savings is going to come from. Any overtime in the, the police department, is, it's got to be uh, approved. I don't know that it's, it's controllable in that, in that sense. Uh, I, I don't believe that the city's not going to have a, uh, a detail or not going to investigate a murder or, or, or anything like that. So, so I, just, I, I just don't know how how hard a, uh, a budget number that that is. A source in the Buffalo Fire Department tells me that it's easy to call for reductions in overtime until there's an emergency. Live in downtown Buffalo, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.